everyone. It's late at night and I'm here in my kitchen. And you know what I'm gonna make? Some Play-Doh, because Play-Doh is so fun. And did you know you could make it at home? So I am gonna give you my favorite recipe for Play-Doh. And me, the world's worst cook in the whole wide world, is gonna make Play-Doh. Let's see what it says. Hmm. It says we need a big pot. I've got a big pot on my stove. We need a spoon for storing, and we need something to keep the Play-Doh in when we're all done. Maybe some wax paper or a Ziploc bag. I don't have that ready, but you know what? Just a sec. I'm gonna get that ready. I'm gonna look in my pantry and see. Do I have any of those? Ziploc bags, where are you? Ziploc bags. <laughs> we have one all ready to go. All right, Ziploc bag. Check. Next, I need, hmm, two cups of all-purpose flour. Well, I've got my bag of flour here, so I think there's a lot there. There's probably lots, two cups for sure. I need three quarters cup of salt. Well, I've got this great container here of sea salt. I think that's gonna be good for my salt. Four teaspoons of cream of tartar. This is some weird chemical stuff. And I've got some for when I used to be a kindergarten teacher. You know what? Moralinda taught me how to make Play-Doh really great. So this is my cream of tartare. I'm gonna need four teaspoons. Do you know what a teaspoon is? In your drawer of spoons and cutlery, I bet there's a small spoon and a bigger spoon. Well, the small spoon is a teaspoon and the big spoon is called a tablespoon, or sometimes we use it to eat soup. It's bigger than the little spoon. So teaspoon, tablespoon. But if you want your measurement to be exact, you might want to use actual measuring spoons. And on my measuring spoons, there are four spoons, you see? One, two, three, four. The littlest one says one quarter teaspoon means a tiny part of a teaspoon. And the next size says it's half a teaspoon. That's half size, the little spoon. And then the next one says, hmm, one whole teaspoon. That's one whole little spoon. And you know what? There's a big spoon here and it says one tablespoon. And that's one big size spoon. So for our recipe, we need four teaspoons. That's this size one, or the small spoon size, four teaspoons of this cream of tartar powder, and two cups of water that is warm. And I found my measuring cup, and I filled it to the two cup mark. So I know I have two cups of water all ready to go. And I need two tablespoons, that's the big size spoon, or this big soup size spoon of oil. And I have this big container of oil left over from frying latkes on Hanukkah. So I'm gonna use this, this oil, two teaspoons of that. But let's see if we can make this together, shall we? Oh my goodness. I have my pot, my pot has nothing in it so far. So let's see what happens. First of all, the instructions tell me I should stir together flour, salt, and the cream of tartar in my large pot. So let's get started. We need two cups full of flour. So I'm gonna open up my bag of flour and I'm gonna take my one cup measuring and I dip it in and I'm gonna fill it all full. They're full and I shook it flat. That's one cup. One more. That's two cups of flour that I need to make my flavor. I'm gonna roll up my flour bag, put back on my elastic band to keep it fresh. Ooh, there's flour powder flying through the air. Woo. Next, I need three quarters of a cup of salt. Well, here's my salt. I'm gonna open it up so I can pour here. And I have this little cup. This little cup says 
the size is one quarter cup, but I need three quarters of a cup. So I need three of these cupfuls of salt into my pot. So let's see, one, two, two, three, three quarters of a cup of salt. Now they're in my pot. What else do I need? Hmm, four teaspoons of cream of tartare, this magical chemical powder called cream of tartare, which helps to make Play-Doh awesome. So I'm opening up my little bag here, and let me find my teaspoon measure. Here it is, here on my ring of measuring spoons. And how many do I need? Four of these, four teaspoons. One teaspoon, I'm shaking it so it's flat, not heaped up. One, two teaspoons, three teaspoons, and four teaspoons. I think I have some enough cream of tartar left to make more Play-Doh another day. I'm pretty excited about that. That's awesome. All right, my recipe says stir together the flour, salt, and cream of tartare in my large pot. Well, you know what? There it is, it's just dry powder. I don't see any Play-Doh happening yet. What else do I need to do to make Play-Doh? Hmm, it says next, add the water and the oil to my flour, salt, and cream of tartare. Here's my water, it's two cups of warm water, I'm adding that in. And I also have to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Well, here's my oil. And here is my largest measuring spoon called a tablespoon. I'm gonna carefully pour a full tablespoon. Oh, a little dripped over. Pour that in, that's one tablespoon. One more, we'll make two tablespoons. There we go. Two tablespoons of oil in my pot. Now, it sets. I've added the water and the oil. Now I have to turn on the heat. You need a grown up to do that, of course. So let's see, turn on my stove and I'm turning on the heat to medium. So on my stove, I have numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and super high. So I'm picking four as my medium number. And I'm stirring together the flour with the, and the salt and the cream of tartare with my water and my little bit of oil. I'm holding the handle of my pot. I don't want to get burned as it heats up, but I'm mixing, mixing gently. Ugh, it looks terrible. Like I would not want to eat this gloopy looking white stuff, but I hope it'll make good Play-Doh and it will be fun to play with. Now it says I have to cook on medium heat. I have to keep stirring, continue stirring until the dough gets thick and forms into a ball. And then I have to remove it from the heat, place it in a bowl, and I have a, a bowl here to hold it when it's finished a bowl, or I can put it on wax paper. Awesome. I'm gonna let it cool slightly, and then I'm gonna knead it, which means push it around with my hands until it gets smooth. And I can also add coloring to it. Do I have any colors? Let me check in my cupboard. Mm. I spy with my little eye that I have blue food coloring and oh, I have maple extract. That's not even a color, that's a taste. I guess I only have blue. Oh well, I guess it's blue Play-Doh for me. I'm glad I like that color. It's like the ocean and like the sky, so that should be good. Ooh, this is getting thicker. My Play-Doh is getting thicker. I can see how it's gonna get thicker and form into a ball. Ooh, here's what I'm excited about. That tomorrow when we have Yofi Connection, 
we can play with some Play-Doh. And I have a special song that I wanna make some things with you with our new Play-Doh. So I'm gonna to continue to make our Play-Doh and I'll see you tomorrow. My Play-Doh should be all ready and I'm gonna share with you the recipe for making your own Play-Doh at home.